Don't forget to tell your mom we're off to Wedgehurst now. She'll go spare you if you leave without a word. She'll go spare if you leave without... Okay, <laughs> even worse than Lee just did. Some of this English is very bizarre to me. Postwick. Okay. We're doing this. I need to know how it is said. Wield. Hmm. Yes, yeah, it's, it's wield. Oh, badoos! Two badoos! One badoo, two badoo. Hey, Mom, I got a Pokemon. I'm leaving you for a couple of years to wander the wilderness. Well, now, isn't Scorbunny just a sweetheart? And yes, I heard the news from young Leon. I'm glad someone bothered to tell me. Off to Wedgehurst, aren't you? Wow! My mom is salty! Oh my god, I literally just came back to tell you! Damn! Here we are, a bit of pocket money for your journey. Buy yourself a little something at the Pokemon Center. Maybe some potions or something. Remember that score bunny will battle to the very end for you. So don't you go pushing the poor deer too hard. Wow, I don't like my mom in this version. <laughs> and you, score bunny, look after my little Bren. Come home and rest anytime you need. After all, east or west, home is best. Wow. Salt mom. Looks like your sweet score bunny might be running on empty. Let's have you rest up. As long as you have Pokemon at your side and the energy to carry onward, you'll naturally find that you always have a smile on your face. Okay, Mom, I'm leaving. Goodbye. I want some Pokeballs. That's what I want. Oh yeah, Mr. Power of Science. Can I go now? Yes, I can, because Hop is waiting for me on Route 1. Here we go. This is quite the big step, you know. My first step towards becoming the next champion. Guess I'll probably train up Grookey a bit by having a battle against Pokemon in the tall grass. You should get yourself to the building over there with the purple roof and the great red and white ball. Mark out on front. That's the Pokemon Research Lab. I also see an item in there. As well as... Oh, that is the Squirrel Tail. I thought maybe... It was a certain other little electrical buddy. Ah, it's just a potion. They seem to be somewhat fearful of me. Run, squirrel! <sighs> yeah, mom is throwing shade hardcore. Okay. Pokeball roof. Over this way. Give me that Pokedex so I can be on my way. Well done. You've reached the goal and managed to find the Pokemon Research Lab. Yeah, I'm not that bad with directions, Leon. <laughs> you did a far sight better than I did my first time. I'm hopeless with directions. See how your world has already grown, all thanks to having Pokemon with you? I know I'm sure glad I've got Charizard with me to keep me from getting lost all the time. Now in we go. All right, what sort of plant professor do we have today? When I said plant professor, I didn't actually think this place would be full of plants. I've got to give it to Professor Mangolia. Everything in here looks fascinating. <gasps> Puppy. It's a corgi. Hello, Yamper. What is it today, Leon? Looking for info on another never-before-seen super-strong Pokémon? I wish you'd stop with these outlandish requests. Good to see you too, Yamper. 
Wow, there's a lot of shade in this game. <laughs> it doesn't even acknowledge her, he acknowledges the dog. Yamper here is a real champ when it comes to helping you find your way around. He came to my rescue plenty of times back in the day when I got lost on the road. Oh yeah, and that's his trainer, Sonia. What can I say about Sonia? Well, I like the way she cooks. She makes food you can gobble down in a flash. What kind of introduction is that? Did you forget we were rivals during our gym challenge? It wasn't just Yamper helping you out, I did too. Anyway, nice to meet you. Name's Sonia. I'm the professor's assistant. This is Bren. She's a new Pokemon trainer. Set her on the right path, would you? <sighs> what does he think I am? He's always got his head in the clouds. No wonder he gets lost all the time. Oh, looks like you've got a Rodom phone. I do? Hey there, Rodom. <gasps> My boy! My little Rodom boy! I didn't even know you were there, baby! Sorry, Rodom's one of my favorite Pokemon. Rodom phones are handy little things, aren't they? They've got a map and a navigation tool. That said, Leon still gets lost, so... Oh, sorry. So tell me, do you know a lot about Pokemon? Uh, I mean, I'll go with not really, just because I want to see what the tutorial is. Don't worry. Here, I'll make it so that you can use the Pokedex on your Rodom phone. Wow, it's just an app this time around, instead of being a whole another electronic device. Makes a lot more sense in the 21st century. Just so you know, that Pokedex is a gift from my Gran. Could you let Gran know that you received the Pokedex? A gift? Wait, you can't just download it? She lives in the house down along Route, route 2. I didn't know Rodom was... Hi! Oh, he's my sweet little sweet boy! Hmm, interesting Pokedex. There we go, this is more traditional. It has special pads on the back of its feet and one on its nose. Once it's rearing to fight, these pads radiate tremendous heat. Okay, don't boop it, you're gonna burn your fingers. I bet this is the, um, this is the Meowth. I'll get it in a second. Leon's an amazing champion, and I'm basically just an assistant. If it's not even Grand's official assistant either, I've been calling myself one. Somehow it makes me feel a little restless. I kind of wonder if there's a way to change the, uh, the text boxes. Ooh. I mean, you say that, but... Get a load of your office. Hmm. I forgot to do the most important thing. Hey there, trainer. Sorry to stop you. You just left the Pokemon lab, right? So that means you've got a Pokedex, yeah? But she only had the one. How did you know I got it? I love talking to new trainers and giving them useful stuff. Hey, creepy man, time to go! It's a potion. Use it when your Pokemon's HP or their hit points get low. HP is like a Pokemon's stamina. You can even use potions during battle. Knowledge is power. It's a good idea to talk to lots of different people and read everything you can on your journey. I forgot to do the most important thing. Can I pet the dog? No, but I can squat down and admire his cuteness. If you ever get lost during your travels, don't forget your trusty town map. It's actually going to be more useful this time around because it's open world in a bit. All around here is just quiet countryside, but wait until you see a big city. It'll take your breath away. That is true. The first time I entered the city, I was just like, oh my god. <laughs> I've just remembered what the sign here used to say. To the right is the Pokemon lab. On the opposite side is the station. Meh. I agree, Wulu. It's meh information. Hello, Hop. Again. Got your Pokedex from Sonya? Then it's time to meet lots of different Pokemon and start building up a strong team. 
But battling strong Pokemon in the wild can leave your team in a bad way. Not to mention what battling another trainer can do. Luckily, we've got Pokemon Centers. Luckier yet, they're dead easy to spot. They look the same wherever you go. Wherever you go, there's a Pokemart. Come on, Bren. Bet you've never been inside one. Okay, they've got the shops in here. Just like in the, uh... Sun and Moon games, and I think there's a Rotom sleeping on top of the PC. Level with me, Bren. Is this your first time in a Pokemon Center? Then I don't think you'll need me to tell you what you already know. I, I chose no. If you two kids are Pokemon trainers, you might want to buy some potions before you head out. Cheers. I'm already good, though. I'm heading to Route 2, Bren. Come find me, maybe, when you're done here. Sorry, I thought I picked the I don't know option so he would go through the tutorial for people. My bad. I'm so thankful for Pokemon Centers. They'll fully heal your Pokemon as many times as you need, and for free. This is what I really want right here, the Mart. I get to actually see all the stuff back there. It's weird to see full-size versions of things. Let's see, we've got on the right shelf, Honey, Escape Rope, Repel, Max Potions, and... I forget which ones are the green ones. I think they're Awakenings. Behind him, we've got Pokeballs, some sort of capsule I don't know, potions, an X status of something, and then vitamins. I'm here to buy... No, it's Burn Heal. For some reason I thought Burn Heal was going to be like blue, I don't know why. Do you not have Pokeballs? You're a liar! You're, I can see them right behind you! You are a liar salesman! <gasps> Hi, buddy! Greetings, trainer! What can I help you with? Oh my gosh, the Rotom! You can keep extra Pokemon in your Pokemon boxes. You've got your own boxes in the Pokemon storage system, which you can access with the Rotom Information Turtle Terminals. Rotomy. Found in Pokemon centers everywhere. You can retrieve Pokemon from boxes at any Rotomy you visit, too. Display only. See you later! Everybody has Ro Rotom now. Wait, is this a... I forget what it's called. Um, pink thing from Generation 5. Grants lots of experience. Is this a gallery version of that? Got some Pokemon questions? Feel free to ask away. Uh, remember move, forget a move. Oh! They put this here? Remember a move and forget a move. Remember a move. I can have your Pokemon remember any move they should have had the chance to learn up until where they are now. Oh, thank God! We don't need heart scales anymore. I don't know what the purpose of deleting a move would do if you can just replace it with whatever you want. But it's cool that you don't have to, like, scrounge up heart scales every time you pick up something and it doesn't have a move. Unless you need some other type of thing to make it work. I think it's just a fee this time around. What are you called? You don't talk. <laughs> okay. Oh, he fell asleep! I wonder if you can have some of these new Rotom forms on your team. Because like I said, new forms of Pokemon count. They can be old Pokemon as long as they have new forms. In the morning my Pokemon wakes me up and in the evening I put my Pokemon to bed. I can't imagine a life without Pokemon. If you're looking for the Pokemon Professor, you can usually find her at her lovely home by the lake, enjoying the slow life. It's probably going to put me through a catch tutorial before I can actually buy Pokeballs. I heard that Leon has a younger brother. I bet he's an amazing trainer, just like Leon. Careful, he'll overhear you and it'll go to his head. Berries! I've got your fresh-picked berries. What do you say? Interested in something? Okay, we can just buy these now. Having a meal with Pokemon makes the food taste extra good. I hope you mean with Pokemon as company and not Pokemon as food. Which, I mean, technically they probably do eat Pokemon as food. It's fun to do some shopping in a boutique. Even just getting a new hat can change your whole look. Oh my gosh, is it finally time? Can I finally customize my look? Welcome to our boutique. Anything I can help you find? 
Oh, I can change this. Can I change my... How do I change my... I want to change my whole face. Did you know that each shop offers a different lineup of apparel brands? I think the brands they carry here might be a bit too young looking for me. If you want to put on something you fought, go ahead and use the fitting room. Can I change other things about me? It used to be you could change... Wait, why? Oh, no. Check appearance. I thought it said change appearance. Wait, what's the... Oh, it's just different colors. Red or blue. I mean, technically the frames I'm wearing right now are purple, so... Knit beret... That's actually closer to what I'm wearing. Hmm. I don't know. Ah, uh, they make you change your style before your hair and stuff? That's weird! Yeah, it was a separate shop in Sun and Moon, but it's kind of weird that... Okay. Leave, yeah. Also, that's probably a little bit of a bug right there, is that it put me in the clothes I wasn't originally wearing. Oh, item! Polka doll, a doll that attracts the attention of a Pokemon and guarantees escape. Yeah, let's see if that's here. If there is a other style shop, that's the Pokemon Center. Can I... This is probably somebody's house. That rather grand building besides us is the Pokemon Research Lab. But if it's Professor Mongolia you're seeking, you'll find her at home, down at the far end of Route 2. I just want to see if, uh... There's a hairstylist around here? So I can get rid of this mop? Charizard pose. Just doing the pose along with Leon makes me feel like I've gotten stronger. Nope, because that's a train station. Darn. Maybe higher up. I've been thinking, if you're a Pokemon trainer now, you must want to try your hand at the gym challenge, right? The gym challenge, mate! The annual competition where trainers can battle it out in the right to challenge the champion. But the trick is that you've got to be endorsed if you want to take part. Oh, it's like Twitch all over again. And Lee doesn't seem to think I'm up to snuff. So I'm thinking I have to talk to the professor and see if she could help. You've got to take part too. A proper rival is just the thing every trainer needs to keep growing stronger, after all. Keeps you motivated, right? The professor's house is way down at the end of Route 2, so let's head there and give our teams the chance to train up a bit along the way. Sony and Leon used to have a healthy rivalry, but yeah, clearly that's gone. Leon loves Pokemon and loves Pokemon battles. I remember he would always go all out, even on practice matches. Like I said, hair and eye color should be something at the very beginning. Either way, I might see what other clothes they have here. Just to, um... Yeah, because like it still shows me wearing... The skirt. Not, I mean, not wearing the skirt. Ugh. Loose top. I thought these were whole sets. No. Skinny trousers. See, I don't entirely know what I want yet. Not available. Socks. Loafers. Oh yeah, god, I hate loafers. <laughs> what am I currently wearing? I'm wearing boots, okay. No loafers. None. Oh, this is my bag. Turn around. Eh. Meh. Scally cap. Oh, at least I can change the color of my beret. What about eyeglasses? 
Do they have these in purple? Navy, purple. Yeah, these are my eyeglasses I have in real life, so I'm gonna get these. Gloves. These look like sports gloves. Okay, so I changed that. One step down. In order to bring out the full strength of the tra Pokemon trainers must be knowledgeable. See that house in the distance with the purple roof? That's where the Pokemon professor lives. What, Top? Alright, it's time we filled in our teams a bit. And he just comes out of nowhere. And I'm here to teach you how. Have you been following me? You'll need to catch Pokemon if you've got any hope of filling in that Pokedex. Lee, where'd you come from? Every Pokemon has got a type or two, which can make it good against some opponents, but poor against others. That's the reason you'll want to catch different Pokemon, to cover one another's weaknesses. Now let's have a champion time as I show you how it's done. Everybody said the tutorials are shorter in this game, and so far they've been longer. Man, the way he threw around his cape, I thought he was going to get stuck in it. Yep, weaken it, throw a ball. Got it, man. This is on the rails, so... At first I thought that Pokeball was entirely red, and I'm like, how did you get a Cherish Ball? Those are event only. Typical Lee. I'll give you some more Pokeballs. In return, I'll only ask that you catch plenty of Pokemon. The Pokemon around here seem easy to catch, almost like they're just itching to join some trainer's team, wouldn't you say? The Pokemon on your team will get experience points when you catch Pokemon, too. And of course, they get experience points from battle, so take on other trainers you meet along the path to help your Pokemon thrive. Your team will keep on changing and growing as you get stronger together, no doubt. But even I don't know exactly how yet. Show your champion something good, alright? Alright, I'm gonna catch loads of Pokemon. The professor will be shocked when she sees. What, like, two? It is time. Alright, birdie. Hopefully this doesn't burn it. Use power trip? What's power trip? Nothing I need to worry about. And as I said, this is going to be a Galar playthrough, so I'm only going to be fighting with Galar Pokemon. I'm going to catch other ones? Don't you dare faint it. Oh, crud. Try that again. It's a Jojo bird? What? Let's try that again. Close enough. One bird down. What do we name it? Hey, Rhythm! 
Rickety. Jumping limply about, the small body Pokemon takes advantage of even the slightest opportunity to disorient larger opponents. The tiny bird Pokedex. Dee on the way to the laboratory. Oh, yeah, that's right, he has a heart butt. Mm hmm, I don't know if I should do another ember, it might be too much. Oh, it might be half and half. Mm hmm. Sorry about that, throw used to be Y, not X. No, I can't use Tackle. Tackle is even stronger. The Puppy Pokemon. This gluttonous Pokemon only assists people with their work because it wants treats. As it runs, it crackles with electricity. He's food motivated. Okay, you guys should probably already know where this is going if you know me well. All right, squirrel. Okay. This is probably the last one for this route, unless there's Woo Lu's. I wonder if we still get to experience from catching. I wasn't paying attention. Already got a name for you too, bud. Yes, we do. That's good. See, personally, I don't mind experience share. It just saves so much time. Squibbit. It eats berries nonstop, a habit that has made it more resilient than it looks. It shows up on farms, searching for yet more berries. Again, more food motivation. Would you like to give it a nickname? I shall name the... Mm. I was gonna name it Cheeks, but since I just noticed that it's female, I'm actually gonna go... with Sandy. So, like, Sandy Cheeks. Okay, we're not done. Oh my god. <laughs> we're gonna get a full team right at the start. You look like potentially a fire type. I'm guessing you are fire and dark and your tail sort of reminds me of a broom. We're just going right back to back. Nickit's data will be added to the Pokedex. Fox Pokemon. Cunning and cautious, this Pokemon survives by stealing food from- Again with the food! 
from others. It erases its tracks with swipes of its tail as it makes off with its plunder. C-A-R-N-L-E. I-T-A. Food motivation is a mood. It sure is. Carmelita Fox has been added to your party. Okay, I think we're finally good. I think we can move forward now. Honestly, I should probably just be using quick attack because my regular attack is way higher than my special attack. Benjamin's also getting a little low. Uh-oh. Good thing this isn't a Nuzlocke run. Because I'm kind of doomed if this was a Nuzlocke run. This is probably going to leave it with 1 or 2 HP. Yep. But don't matter. See, I like experience here because no longer am I forced to, like, run around and level up Pokemon from, like, level 2 to level 5 and spend, like, 3 hours on it. Constantly swapping them back and forth. I hated that. There's something blinking. There's Revive down here. I hated that in the original game. It just, it wasted so much time. And experience share just gets rid of that. Or a lot of Pokemon just were always having a type disadvantage. And like I said, I'm just picking names on like a spur of the moment thing. If you have something you want to share, feel free to give suggestions. Purple house, here we come. Oh no. Hang on, we gotta get challenged by a kindergartner first. A very intimidating kindergartner. <laughs> Common manners for Pokemon trainers to battle when their eyes meet. Youngster Jake! And he has a squirrel shirt! It's perfect! And squirrel Pokemon. Yeah, we found baby you. <laughs> you never told me you had a son! Everybody level up! Whenever there's a strong trainer, I always look right at them.
If you don't want to battle, it's important to make sure you aren't seen by other people when you're walking around. If you don't want human interaction, don't go out in public. <laughs> Words to live by. Trainer tips. Why isn't this border on more text boxes? This is actually a nice border. Why isn't this on more text box options? It's kind of bland, to be honest. I've been noticing just having like the white box in the black text. Like, what is this? Gen 1? Pokemon can gain experience points by battling other Pokemon. Experience helps them grow stronger. And your Pokemon will still get experience points even if you catch a Pokemon you are battling against. Just blend in with your surroundings. You just wear camo. <laughs> no, wear a Pikachu suit. Really quick. I want to see... Battle effects, battle style, send to boxes, give nicknames, gyroscope, vertical camera, 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 casual, nicknames, skip moves. Dang it, I can't change the option box? Every game, even Gen 1, on the Game Boy Pocket, gave me the option to change that box. I just wanted to see if I could stylize the text box more, and I can't. Bummer. Cute and strong together in combination. More squirrels. Choodle? I don't know what a choodle is. Oh, it's a turtle. I think he's water type, though. I don't know if everybody else has their secondary moves yet, or if they all just have tackle and whatnot. Are we cute and nothing more? Looks like our strength has a ways to go. I'm scaring all the squirrels. I'm guessing there's gonna be a battle here based on the arena in the front yard. How? Why are you just staring at the door? I couldn't beat Hop, but I'm gonna beat you. Oh! Benjamin versus Benjamin! That's different. Seems like a bug, though, judging by the name, so... Is it a fire bug? Does the UK have firebugs? Because, like, even in the US, they're kind of native to only certain portions, like the Midwest. Ah, there you are. I don't... Were you... It says it's effective, which means you're probably not actually fire attack. You're probably dark. I should probably actually look at my type matchups, shouldn't I? As I said, Pokemon is easy. I don't even have to think about things half the time. Level 8. Learned Hone Claws. 17. Lose to wild Pokemon, lose to many trainers. Pokemon hiding in the tall grass or trainers waiting along the route. Which one you choose is up to you. Let's see, who do I have? What do I have? It's kind of weird that it doesn't tell you on the summary like that. Let's see. Fire. Flying. Oh, you're just flying. You're not flying normal, you're just flying. I think, too, when Scorbunny evolves, it's not going to be a fighting type. I think it gets fighting type moves, but I don't think it ever becomes a fighting type Pokemon. The Emperor is electric? A firefly? I, you do not recognize a firebug, so it might not have it. I mean, they're called different things. Fireflies, lightning bugs. Normal. Kind of figured that for you. Although I assumed maybe ground, but I guess not. 
You're just this version's equivalent of Radita. Nick it, dark. Okay. Unburden. Boost the speed stat if the Pokemon's held item is used or lost. Let's see what we got for moves. We got Quick Attack, Tail Whip, and Beat Up. Tackle, Growl, and Learn. Yep. Are you eventually going to become a dark type? Because you've got two dark type moves. This user boasts its strength and attack to the target. The more the user's stats are raised, the greater the moves power. So... Oh, it does do 20 damage, though. Boasts its strength and attacks the target. User's stats are raised. So it does a little bit of damage and also raises, apparently, its attack stat. User sharpens its claws to boost its attack stat and accuracy. So you are a booster. Oops, nope, I didn't do that. Next. You've got Nuzzle. User attacks by nuzzling its electrified cheeks against the target. This also leaves the target with paralysis. Carmelita looks like she's already done with the party's antics. I mean, it describes her character quite well. So much darkness in my party. Oh, and something they did announce, too, is that you're not going to be able to tell if a Pokemon is shiny until you get into a battle with it. So unlike Pokemon Go, you won't be able to see shiny Pokemon on the field. Look, there's the professor. So have you unraveled all the secrets of the Dynamax phenomenon yet? Oh, goodness, no. The whole thing is still full of questions. I'd hoped my granddaughter would take over my research, but... Dear me, I'm sorry, I didn't even notice my guests. My name is Mangolia. Welcome, young trainers. Magnolia, scary. Now come in, let's head indoors. Magnolia's a flower. 